welcome back to your computer application class class 7 in this part of the video we will switch over to your new topic that is ethics and safety measures in computing let's begin in this chapter we will learn about internet ethics in computing ethics and society computer security and digital footprint in this part of the video, we will learn about internet and their advantages and disadvantages. Let's begin with the term internet. In a simple words, internet is nothing more than networks of networks. Internet is the largest network that links millions or trillions of computers all over the world. No one exactly knows how many computers are connected to the internet because in this era, almost all the computers are connected with the internet for sharing information and resources. You can assess network via communication devices and media such as modem, cables, telephone lines and satellite. If we say that internet is a major reason why people buy computers these days, then that will also be not wrong. Internet enables you to read news from various researches, shop, communicate, listen to music, play games and assess a variety of information. You only need to name it and with the help of internet, you will get the information regarding that topic. This is the reason that any person who gets connected to the internet get connected to you. You can communicate with anyone on the internet. It touches the lives of everyone. This is the reason that we can also say that without internet, we are going to miss tremendous sources of goods, services, information and communication. Let's move to advantages and disadvantages of internet. Here, you need to understand that nothing is perfect in this world, neither technology. If there is a brighter side, then definitely there will be a dark side also. Similarly, internet comes with many benefits, but unfortunately, it has some drawbacks. Let's discuss the advantages of internet first. Number one. You can get information on any topic of your interest easily. You can send and receive email messages. You can play online games. You can make new friends on social media or on social networking sites. You can send messages to your friend with the help of chatting or via using video conferencing you can perform video conferencing with your friends you can listen music you can watch movies you can buy products on internet which is also known as e-commerce you can communicate with others around the world you can assist other computer and exchange information you can share resources you can share documents in real time and you can also allow to edit it also. So here we saw n number of advantages of internet which always affect our day-to-day -day life. Now let's move to the, some darker side of internet. So here we have some disadvantages of internet. First disadvantages of internet is that this is true that we have lots of friends on social media. We can play games on internet. But at the same time, we are losing our contact with our real friends. With the people who are staying near to us. We can make a chatting with the person who is sitting far away from us. But at the same time, we don't have a time for the people, the people who are sitting next to us. Second is all the information which you get on the internet is not 100% accurate. Reason is because 
many people are uploading the information according to their knowledge so there there are the chances that whatever the information you get on the internet it is not sure that the, all the information is 100% accurate third people spend more time on internet surfing unusual websites which may affect their work or studies people are losing interest in reading books reason is because they are spending lots of time on internet next there is much inappropriate content on internet which is not not at all suitable for children next is cyber crime is increasing day by day just because of excess use of internet and the last disadvantage is which is mentioned in your book according to your syllabus is using the internet for prolonged hours will also affect your mental and physical health people became anti social and get angry very easily in next part of the video we will discuss about ethics and computing thank you